Yo, what is going on everybody? My name is Josh and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about the MLG Season 3 COD rules um, as well as some of their rosters that they currently have. Um, so basically, MLG, after all these roster changes started to commence, MLG came out with the Season 3 uh, COD, COD League rules and the Free Agency rules. So basically, there there's a, uh, a draft on J uh, July 11th and... There's a bunch of there's a player movement period. For, well, I, let's just go. Jeez, uh, my phone's going off. Let's just say um, I'll I'll just say the player movement periods first. I, I originally made this video last night, um, but a lot of things have not changed since then. But this is just a I think a better layout for this video um, than what I did. So basically, all these uh, movement periods. There's a free movement period from June 25th, which was yesterday, to July 2nd. Um, anybody can go anywhere, basically. Um, well, so. All right, <laughs> this is really confusing. I know. Background: forty-eight players and twelve teams qualified for season three. Those players have to be on a set roster um, by the draft, I think. Right. So by the draft on what's it, July eleventh? Yeah, I think they have to be yeah on a team by Ju July eleventh. Um, well, if they don't, and if they don't, they have they uh, can be drafted. Um, but I'm pretty sure they have to be, actually, I'm pretty sure they have to be on a team by July 11th. They don't have to necessarily be a starter on that team, but they have to be on a team. And one of those 12 teams in the league as well. So here's the deal with free agency. Players may declare themselves to be a free agent, and teams may release one player. One player. Um, teams may add players as well, so they can add a, a player from the free agency. Um... However, they have to be in the, the Season 3 League or have to have qualified at Anaheim for the Season 3 League. <sighs> okay, so there's a whole lot of controversy in this list. Um, first of all, Envious dropped two players, okay? Um, but one of them had to declare to a free agency because you can only drop one player, right? So here's the the rosters um eg is the same optic gaming is the same curse black is the same team envious currently consists of merc and nameless um they sent that they they sent to mlg that parasite declared free agency and study was dropped or other way around it doesn't matter they had to have paid one of them because they're not just going to declare f free agency. They liked the team, so it wasn't their decision to be to leave. It was Hastro's or whoever made the decision. I think it was Hastro. Um, Phase Black is this is uh, Sensor, Dito, and Formal. Apathy has not officially. Let me see. Yeah, Apathy is as of right now still on the TK roster. However, he's basically on Phase Black, and Formal is still on the Phase Black roster. He has not officially been moved to the Envious roster. Um, TK consists of what we saw at Anaheim with Apathy. Phase Red is still on this list with Theory and Classic. For one, Classic isn't even going to play Call of Duty anymore. I'm pretty sure he's retiring. And Theory is uh, on TK. Um, I don't know what they're going to do with the Phase Red roster. There was a, a screenshot earlier, I'm not going to go look for it or anything, by Robert Nye or, or someone who's who's in MLG, and he said that there is no Season 3 spot available, and if there was, it wouldn't be for sale. So I don't know what Phase Red is going to do. Um, they're going to have to pick up another... Uh, their four guys again? As far as this list goes, their, their spot still stands. Then you have Denial, um, which is Zuma, Replays, and Saints. Uh, they do not have a th fourth yet. That's their roster right now. Um, Optic Nation is the same. Kill of Miracles, uh, Ricky and Embos. Rise Nation is Looney, St. Wheats, and Pac-Man. But I'm pretty sure Looney like, broke his hand or something, so they need to get a replacement. That's what everybody was telling me. Elevate, right? So there was this whole um, controversy with Elevate. Uh, Mad Cat wasn't going to play in Season 3 because he wouldn't be able to support himself over here. Well, apparently he's staying in Canada uh, with someone on who, I don't know, Elevate Management or someone who lives in, in Canada that plays for Elevate. I don't know who lives in Canada up there, but maybe Nifty. I don't know. Um, he's playing in Season 3, so Elevate is not looking for one now. Uh, Justice is Twizzed Out, BL Fire, and Sin. I'm pretty sure they're the same. That's the same. Okay, now, so here's their free agency. Ugh. <sighs> 
Sorry, guys. My, my nose is bad. <laughs> I never blow my nose in a video, but sorry. Uh, here's the free agency. There's four free agents currently, but as it stands, I'm pretty sure they have a team. Uh, J-Cap, Parasite, and Study, and Legal. Um, I don't know where Legal's going to go. Parasite said he has a team. I'm assuming it's going to be Phase Black. Uh, J-Cap is on Envious, and Study uh, has not said anything yet. I don't know where Legal is. I think Legal might be on Revenge. I don't know. And then Vexed and Noxide, I think they're on Revenge as well or, or something. I'm not sure. I don't even know who Revenge's, Revenge's roster is now. I'm pretty sure they like picked up Denial's team, but I don't know. So those those uh, Vexed and Noxide are out of Season 3, so they have to be drafted or those like those two players need to be replaced because those were two of the 48. There's 46 players now. So interesting stuff. Um, then, yeah, the draft is on July 11th. So basically the whole thing with the draft is you can draft whoever you want. I think they have to have, like, and be in the top 100 pro points or something like that. That's how they did it last time anyway. And you can draft whoever you want, but, like, you don't have to. Okay, so let me just do an example here. Elevate, right? Say they didn't want to bring Mad Cat over to United States. He could, he could, um be on their roster, but he didn't have to be a starter, right? So he could, they could pick up whoever, and they could start, and that could be like the Elevate roster, but they'd be a, a, a draft pick, um, and Mad Cat could sit the bench. It's basically four starters and four bench players. Um, so yeah, it's interesting, guys. It's really interesting. There's a lot of controversy around this and a lot of confusion. I hope I clarified everything for you. Um, if you think I'm wrong with something, let me know. But I just thought I'd get this out there um, as quickly as possible. So thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Josh, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.